welcome back to another science lesson with Napa STEM Academy. Today, we're going to be doing the volcano vase experiment. We'll be learning about the chemical reactions between a base and an acid, and you're going to get to create your very own volcano vase at home. Today's lesson exists within the world of chemistry, which is a subcategory of science in which we talk about elements and substances that exist in our world, how they work, and how they work with each other. So in order to understand all of that, we're going to start with some vocabulary words. The first thing we'll need to understand is the pH scale. If you look to your left, you'll see that rainbow rectangle on the screen. That's our pH scale. The pH scale measures how acidic or how basic a substance is. It ranges from zero all the way to 14. Acids are categorized as less than seven, bases are greater than seven, and seven itself is rated as the neutral number. So acids are a substance with a pH of less than seven. So for our experiment today, we're gonna to be using vinegar, which is an acetic acid. Can you find what number it is on the pH scale? A base is something with a pH greater than seven. Today we're gonna to be using baking soda, which is a type of base commonly used in cooking. Can you find where it lives on the pH scale? A compound is a substance formed from two or more elements chemically united in fixed portions. For example, if you've ever heard water called H2O, there's a reason for that. It's made up of more than one element. It's made up of hydrogen, which stands for the H, and oxygen, which stands for the O. The reason why the two is there is because there are two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen that come together to form water. Lastly, we have a chemical reaction, which is when one or more chemicals are changed into one or more other chemicals. When vinegar, an acidic substance, and baking soda, a base substance, are first mixed together, hydrogen ions in the vinegar react with sodium and bicarbonate ions in the baking soda. The result of this chemical reaction is two new chemical compounds. These two new compounds are carbonic acid and sodium acetate. This creates the bubbles and foam you see when you mix baking soda and vinegar together. Because they produce carbon dioxide bubbles when mixed, these and other similar chemicals have been used as chemical leavening agents in bread. The use of chemical leaveners appears to have been first documented as early as 1796 in a cookbook entitled American Cookery. As interesting as this chemical reaction is, it is unknown who was the very first person to put baking soda and vinegar together and observe their reaction. Now that we've learned everything we need to know about the background, let's get to the fun part. The materials you're gonna need for this experiment are baking soda, a vase, food coloring, vinegar, colored glitter, and a baking pan. Step one, place the vase on top of the baking pan. You're going to want the baking pan underneath it because if your experiment is a success, you're gonna get an explosion and you wanna make sure you're catching all of that liquid in somewhere where it's not making a mess. Step two, put four tablespoons of baking soda in the bottom of the vase. Step three, add about five to seven drops of whatever food coloring you choose. Step four, add about one to two teaspoons of glitter. Step five, quickly pour in about a cup of vinegar and watch the sparkles explode out of the vase. Now that we've seen the chemical reaction, we can experiment with varying the amounts of the items we used. Start with the baking soda. Do this experiment with the same amount of vinegar, but less baking soda than required. Try half the recommended amount. After you do that, try it with twice the amount of baking soda recommended. What was different in each of the experiments? Now vary the amount of vinegar. 
Do the experiment with the amount of baking soda required, but change the vinegar measurements. Use half the amount of vinegar. After that, redo the experiment and use twice the amount of vinegar recommended. What happened in each case? Is there a combination of the two ingredients that gives the biggest explosion? Write down what you observed in this challenge to help you figure that out. Once you've experimented with the base ingredients, you can try experimenting with the container. Maybe a deeper vase or a wide or narrow jar. What happens with the chemical reaction in a different shape? And you can have even more fun by replacing the glitter with something else. What does pepper flakes look like? And if we put cheese flakes in? Or chocolate sprinkles? Or fruity pebbles? Use your imagination and record your findings. It's an experiment after all. Have fun! So you've seen firsthand how a chemical reaction works by creating it yourself. But now let's ask some provoking questions about chemical reactions in the real world. Where do we see them in our daily lives? Do we see them in the kitchen? In a car? In nature? Where else can you think of them? Have you ever seen an explosion experiment made with Diet Coke and Mentos? Why do you think they react that way? How is this reaction similar or different to the one we created today? Now that you're all done with your experiment, we can try soda bread. Let's use our baking soda to make some delicious bread. Make sure to get permission and help as needed from an adult. The recipe is down below. For kinder through second grade, you might want to talk a little bit about correct measuring utensils for the amount of materials needed in this experiment. You'll want to talk about halves, thirds, and quarters, and what the differences are between cups, tablespoons, teaspoons, etc. If you have a third through fifth grader, consider using the scientific method with them before beginning the process. For fifth grade and up, consider having them lead any younger students in the extension activity. Here are the steps of the scientific method. You might want to go over them with your student or maybe even have them use it as they do their experiment. We hope you'll have a blast making glittery, fizzy explosions. We'll see you soon with another great science video.